Hi guys, Brain the Squirrel I am back with another video and I've only ever been on like two dates in my life so I don't really know much uh, when it comes to like questions and stuff that e you ask each other. So I went online to find a few and I thought why not answer a few of them in a video. So yeah, now I'm going to answer 15 questions that are typical ones on a first date. Okay, so the first one is what do you do and how long have you been doing it? I piss about in front of a camera and without the camera, I've been doing it my whole life. With the camera, about five months. Did you go to college or uni? And if so, what did you study? Yeah, I went to college. I did public services, left with a qualification, but didn't really do anything with it. I did study childcare level one, but it wasn't for me really, so yeah, I changed courses. What do you do when you're not working? The exact same thing, just without a camera. I piss about. <laughs> Truth is, inside, I feel like a child. That's just me, I like to play video games. I like to play practical jokes on my brother. I mean, one time when he was asleep, I thought it'd be funny just to put makeup on him. It was, it was, it was hilarious the look on his face when he woke up and realised I'd put lipstick and everything on him. What type of music are you into? This one's got a basic answer. I'm into just about anything really. If I had to pick a main thing that I'm into, I like alternative rock. Actually, I like all rock. If I like something, I'll listen to it. I'm the type of guy who will listen to Avenged Sevenfold one minute and the next minute be listening to S Club 7. Are you a cat or dog person? Definitely a dog person. I've, it's always been a dog. I've never owned a cat. Not to say that I hate cats. Growing up, my aunt had a cat and I loved that cat. But the truth is, I, um, I'm a dog person. I just love dogs. Honestly, I couldn't imagine life without my dog. I absolutely love him to bits. He's one of them. He's a little pain in the ass. But yeah, life without him would just be ridiculous. Do you have any nicknames? Pick one. I've got f fucking loads. Bray and the Scurry Lion. Bry Dog, Bry, The Brain, Cookie, The Cookie Monster. Yeah, the list literally goes on and on and on and on and on. I've just got loads of them. If you won the lottery, what's the first thing that you'd buy? I thought this is a weird one to ask on a first date, but I got told apparently it shows a lot about you, but fair enough. If I ever won the lottery, the first thing that I would buy is tickets to WrestleMania. It's just straight up. One of the big things that I want to do is I, I, I want to go sit front row at Wrestlemania. There would be no better feeling for me. Do you have any siblings? Yeah, I've got three. I've got my little sister, who I absolutely love to bits. I've even got her name tattooed on my arm, so yeah. Basically, my little si sister changed my life. As soon as she was born, I, I calmed down and everything, and I tried to actually be a role model. I've got my older sister. Like I say, I, uh, I, I've, I've spoke about all this in a previous video. I don't really know her. I'd probably like to know a little bit more about her because, well, she's my sister. And then there's my pain in the ass brother who is literally sat right over there right now. I love him, but he's a dickhead. <laughs> it's one of these, he's the kindest person in the world on one side, but on the other side, he's the most annoying bastard in the world. If things don't go his way, he will keep at you until it goes his way. Yeah, but despite that, yeah, I, I love my family. What's your biggest pet peeve? My biggest pet peeve really is people who judge me for liking wrestling. Fair enough. And I, I know a lot of people don't like wrestling because like it's it's all scripted and everything. So I know there's a lot of you who don't like it. And I don't judge you for the things that you like. So why do you judge me for liking wrestling? It, it just perplexes me because it's entertainment. It, it's what I enjoy. Yeah, I got a bit worked up just talking about it, but yeah, that, that's basically it. Just don't judge. This one should be a simple one, but it's really not. Tea or coffee? Truth is, I've always been a coffee fan, but it's been about a year now. I don't drink either. It's not like I don't like the taste of coffee. I despise the taste of tea. I just hate it. I know I'm bad British, but yeah. I drink a lot of this at the minute. I drink a lot of water at the minute. I don't know, I feel more refreshed drinking water rather than drinking a load of caffeine. What's on your bucket list? I've got too many things on my bucket list to really go through, so I'll give you the top three. 
The top three are maintain my YouTube channel, which yeah, I hope I'll be able to cross off the list. Start a YouTube channel, which I've already been able to cross off the list, thankfully. I didn't think it was going to be possible because I, I had personal things holding me back. But yeah, being able to do it is brilliant and that's it, it's one of the first things that I've crossed off my list. And finally, it's another one that I talked about earlier. It's going to WrestleMania. One of my biggest dreams is to main event WrestleMania, but I don't see that happening. But yeah, hopefully one day I'll be able to go and sit front row for WrestleMania. I don't even care who's going to be fighting, honestly. From a kid to an adult, it's always been a massive dream of mine to just go and watch it live. So yeah, hopefully I'll be able to cross that off my bucket list one day. Bit of a pain in the ass one here. What's your social life like? Can you count it as a social life if you leave your house like once a week? Mostly I leave my house to like go shopping. The odd time I will go to like a friend's house, uh, but fact of the matter is leaving the house just isn't really for me. Got my reasons why, not going into it, but yeah, that's my social life. Sounds sad, but you know what, I play a lot of games to keep me happy. What are you most passionate about? Well, I think you guys will already know my two biggest passions are YouTube and wrestling. Being able to combine them both into one thing is absolutely fantastic for me. So yeah, that's my biggest, biggest passion. Like the videos I make on wrestling because it's combining the two worlds that I love. What's your favourite drink? Now this didn't specify so I'll go into both. I'll go into my favourite alcoholic drink which is Jack Daniels. Uh, I love Jack Daniels and Coke. I mean it's a, it's a close one with vodka and Red Bull but... Yeah, it's got to be Jack Daniels and Coke. It's, it's, it's a good one for if you just want to have a like little chill out drink while watching football or something. And my non-alcoholic drink, it's got to be Red Bull. Even though it's full, of, it's full of caffeine, full of sugar, full of everything that's bad for me. Yeah, I just love it. As a person with ADHD, I should not be allowed to drink it. I mean, it's, it's full of so many different chemicals that just send me off the wall. But what my mum don't know won't kill her. And the final one is, what would your perfect date be? Now, I found this one weird as well because it's like, you're already on a date. Why would you be asking what the perfect date is? But I had it pointed out that this question is normally asked like halfway through so that maybe you can go into doing whatever your perfect date is. It just confuses me. But yeah, my perfect date, anyone who knows me knows that my perfect date would literally just be a couple of beers, sit and chill out watching a movie and yeah that, that's basically it I, I'm, I'm very easy to please as long as I'm in good company I don't really care what I'm doing there's no such thing as the perfect date really if you think about it there's always going to be something that comes along and gets in the way but it's really just about the enjoying the date rather than trying to make it perfect the more you try the weirder the date's going to get but yeah there's some of the questions that usually get asked on a first date, a bit weird, some of them I didn't really understand why, but I found them online, what can I say? But yeah, I hope you did like this video, if you did like it, give it a like, comment down below and let me know what your usual first question is on a first date, because yeah, I, I literally have no clue who really dates these days, I mean, you go out with someone, but... I don't really see too many people going, oh yeah, we're going out on a date. It's a, it's, it's a weird one. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification button so that you can always stay up to date on my content. And yeah, I will catch you guys in the next one.